Uh, we support this bill. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Raymond Ho, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to uh, reiterate what uh, previous members have said about you, and thank you for your many, many years of service to this Parliament. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your contributions towards uh, maintaining and upholding the professional standard of this House. And also I'd like to uh, thank Mr. Tish, who was in the chair earlier. And uh, for me, uh, the most frequently used phrases from Mr. Tish probably was, come back to the bill. <laughs> so, <laughs> so come back to the bill. <laughs> uh, we supported this bill. And this bill is the outcome of a mandated two years um, a consultation process from 2015 to 2017. So the review and indeed the bill uh, are very important. The telecommunications market is changing. Uh, new technologies are changing our lives. Uh, consumer behavior and uh, business models are changing and shifting uh, as a result. In the old and gold days and probably the first thing uh, in the morning was uh, newspapers or talkback radio shows, etc. But uh, they have gradually been replaced by online news or social media such as Facebook, Twitter, or for most uh, of Chinese people, WeChat. Uh, that is said to have more than 400 million uh, subscribers worldwide. Therefore, Wi-Fi, uh, broadband, or in general connectivity, or how effective or powerful the connectivity is uh, has become a kind of a world benchmark or a kind of an international standard to help gauge uh, where a particular region or country is placed uh, in the world. Against that particular background, we have the mandated two years uh, consultation process. Uh, broadly speaking, uh, this bill, among other uh, measures, establishes a new regulatory framework that will introduce stable and more practicable uh, regulation for ultra-fast broadband, uh, UFB fiber, and streamlined regulatory processes to enable a rapid response uh, to any competition problems, particularly in the mobile communications market. The review is now completed. Uh, stakeholders such as Chorus, uh, Two Degree, uh, International New Zealand, uh, Vodafone and Telecommunications Forum, uh, etc., have, have made available submissions on the review. There will be a further opportunity to submit on uh, the provisions in the bill during its examination by a select committee following the formation of a new parliament uh, after the general, uh, general election. We look forward to that. It is the first reading, so the bill won't uh, get passed until the 21st or 52nd Parliament. Um, in respect of the fibre uh, agenda, uh, this national government hasn't uh, made or achieved much in progressing uh, that agenda. And by the way, we haven't heard anything about <coughs> rural broadband or any plans in that regard. So, Mr. Speaker, tens of thousands of New Zealand homes are no better off than they were three or even six years uh, ago in terms of the connectivity. And rural New Zealand in particular has been really let down uh, by this national government. Like infrastructure, that has caused the traffic congestion in Auckland that we're facing on a daily basis. New Zealand lacks significant behind the reality and in the world uh, in terms of the fiber agenda. We are a great nation, but there is so much work to do uh, to make this country better and fairer, and hopefully 23rd of September will make a huge difference. So let's do this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and